Hello everyone, this is uh, Henry from UTD Technologies. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you how to configure load balancing on UTD routers. And we launch up the internet browser, we input the IP address of the router and uh, we input the username and password. Here we come the user interface we find load balancing under basic uh, please notice that the load balancing feature will only show up when multi when routers have more than one when connections so we click on load balancing we cl click on global settings uh, detection method we have uh, three ICMP, ARP, and DNS. Here we see two tips in the bottom. We suggest to select ICMP detection as a detection mode. Load balancing policy. We have two IP address and NAT session. So if you select NAT session as load balancing policy, it will improve your bandwidth uh, utilization. Of course, if you set select an NAT selection as load balancing policy, the traffic will be routed in the unit of NAT sessions uh, instead of IP addresses. So it's a, a smaller unit, so the bandwidth will be utilized uh, fully. Mm, let's try on the full load balancing first, and we will demonstrate the partial load balancing later. Click on Save. Uh, the lo full load balancing means both when connections are up, no one is standby. So, however, how much traffic does each when connection takes up depends on their weight. Depends on their weight, and which is decided by their bandwidth. For example, uh, when when one has uh, 10 megabit bandwidth and when two has uh, 20 megabit uh, bandwidth uh, uh, how do we set the weight to them uh, we click on edit and because the when one is has uh, 10 megabit bandwidth we set weight w 1 to when 1 we click on save and uh, when 2 has uh, 20 megabit uh, bandwidth uh, we connect We set weight two to uh, when two connection because when two has uh, twenty megabit bandwidth, uh, we click on save. So now, uh, when one takes up uh, one thirds traffic, and when two takes up uh, two thirds traffic, it's pretty reasonable because the larger bandwidth uh, connection takes up more traffic so this is uh, basically how to configure full load balancing on UT routers we see the detection interval here I set uh, 1000 milliseconds it will detect if, if the connection is up every 1000 milliseconds and the trial time is 3. If uh, it detects the connection 3 times and it doesn't uh, get response, it will consider this connection is down. And uh, let's try on the partial load balancing. We should set when one connection as a primary connection, the other one is a backup connection here. We set when one is a primary connection, when two is a backup connection. We click on save. And now we can see the primary and backup connection under load balancing load list. Now the when one is a primary connection, when two is a backup connection. When when one is uh, down, 
the when two will be up immediately to back up when one. And uh, here is the ID bonding. If you set more than one connection, you have to enable ID bonding to make the instant manage messenger and instant banking work properly. It means you you need to check this box to enable ID bonding to make internet banking work properly or instant messenger work properly. Click on save. So, but I won't test how fast this connection will be switched from when one to when two. So, I open up the DOS interface. And I try to pin yahoo.com and it gets response from uh, yahoo.com. Now I unplug the win one connection. We can see now win one is disconnected. However, the pinging is still going on you see there's no one package is lost so the the connection is immediately switched from when one to when two without one package lost so it's pretty quick it's pretty amazing so this is basically how to configure partial load balancing on utd routers thank you